you're watching the spooky nerd it's been a while since i've talked to youtube it's i mean i did my vlog like the really long video the last video i had on here was super long but a lot's been happening originally i was just gonna do a um like an updated like christmas haul which obviously it's still happening everything i got for christmas um but some major life events have just happened within the past week so this is gonna be kind of like a christmas haul and a uh big chatty life update of things that have happened uh, very exciting things but some changes if you guys can't tell i look like freddy krueger because of the stripes but <laughs> let me take it off i got my hair done for my birthday my husband paid for it um I got some pink in it and I chopped it all off. My hair was like, oops. My hair was super long before. Um, now I, I mean, it's not like short, short, but I did chop it to here. Um, it was down to like here on me. So it definitely needed it. And then I have the pink in it now in the front. And this is actually now, let's see what's today the first weekend in January. So we're looking at January 7th. I got my hair done, I think December 8th. So this is actually a month old and it's still, the pink looks pretty good still. Um, I am gonna, I think, keep getting it touched up, but I really like it. Um, anyway, that's not why we're here. That was just a quick little update on that. We're here to do the Christmas haul of everything I've gotten. My husband, so funny, he was like, you really need to shoot your video because I have something exciting in here for YouTube for the further videos going further. So he really wants me to start using it, of course. I just didn't want to take it out of the box yet and deal with it until I shot this video. So let's begin. Okay. Um, my husband's family is Spanish, so we celebrate Christmas with them Christmas Eve. Um, and his dad and um, his dad's girlfriend got us a couple of things. And one of them is this cute little picture frame. It's so funny, as soon as they gave it to me, I was like, oh my God, look, me and all my family. It's all the random people in there. But <laughs> I thought this was really cute. Um, we don't have any type of frames. I mean, we do like, we have a couple of frames, like if you can see back here on my side and then one on his side. And then we have some like, I'm propped up on the, um, what's this thing called? The dresser, Jesus. Um, I have a couple of frames propped up there, but we don't have anything that like we can hang up on the wall like this. So super sweet gift, amazing, love it. Now the only thing is me and him don't take lots of pictures together. We're not picture people, so that's gonna be the next battle. Yeah, <laughs> finding pictures to fill it up with, at least good quality ones. So these two things, um, this is more like, this one was my Christmas present from work. Um, my doctor personally, my time is coming to an end with him sadly, um, but my doctor personally wrote me a cute little Christmas card. Um, he gave me a present. I won't say on here because I don't want him to get in trouble or me to get in trouble, nothing like that. Um, but <laughs> my work got me a present and it was just uh, $75 to Amazon, which I thought was really nice. So I got an Amazon gift card. Um, and then two, my husband's family. Also, these two, let me just say Amazon, amazing with their packaging like i love this like as soon as you open it i'll show you but they got me an amazon gift card too as soon as you open it like it starts off with this cute little box and then you're supposed to hold it on the sides ah oh, amazing right love it so cute so fun but yeah so amazon money always welcome here I'm trying to do it in order of like how we did presents <laughs> Not that that really matters. Um, at first, when I saw this box, you might be able to tell from the glare, I was just like, oh my God, what did they get me? Like, what is in this sparkly pink box? 
I don't, besides my hair, um, I don't wear anything pink. I don't own anything pink, I don't even think. So I was really nervous. And then I opened the box and it is a little Betsy Johnson set, which <laughs> amazing. This girl I watch on YouTube, her name's Jade the Libra. Um, she has the Betsy Johnson purse and matching wallet. And I was like, oh my God, that is so cute. I want one. Well, this was from his um, dad's girlfriend. They got me the whole Betsy Johnson, not the whole like purse and wallet set, but this is like a, uh, a clutch. I don't know if you can tell, it's like zip tied in, but there's skulls on it. So amazing. And then um, it comes with a cute little just plain black matching scarf, which I thought was so great. And the scarf's actually really comfy. So I was surprised. Don't let boxes deceive you, my friends. That night, when we went to the rest of the family's place, um, his aunt who lives in Bolivia got me um, some stuff from there. They got me a cute little notebook that you can like take notes in and stuff. And it's got a llama slash alpaca on it. I don't want to know. I don't know which one it is. Usually alpacas are more famous over over in South America. Oh, sorry, this fell. Um, but yeah, just a plain notebook. You can write notes in it. And it's got the months of the year all in Spanish on this page, um, which actually is super useful. I'm about to start my new job. I only have a week left. We'll, we'll get into the updates, but... I'm gonna use it for my new job. <laughs> um, two, it came with little paper, like if you read books and stuff, little bookmarks. Of course, the uh, alpaca is the best one, but I might be biased because my husband's family's Peruvian, so alpaca for the win. Let me put that back in there. And then along with that, she also got me a cute little clutch. You put it on your wrist. And then just simple, one little pocket if I don't ever feel like being super fancy, which honestly too, if I wear an all black outfit, which you already know, this would be great. I mean, with this outfit, it's super clashy, but that's that. What is this? I don't even remember what this is. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna save my husband's gifts for last. Um, but my family, um, oh, I'm gonna have to go grab it. My sister and my mom went in together on something, but my sister knows that I love Nightmare Before Christmas. So she got me a, it's called Dorables. Um, so it's in the shape of a coffin and then you punch out each one and you have all the characters. I'm not gonna punch them all out, but I'll show you. Um, you open it, and like I said, it's got all the doors in it. Well, Poe decided to make an appearance. <laughs> um, and then, perfect, here's Jack. You take it out of the door and then you get your little people, little Jack, Skellington. And it's all the characters from A Nightmare Before Christmas. Super cute. Um, I do plan on setting them up. I just need to figure out where I'm thinking. Maybe on top of my computer build. Um, in the top of the tower. Doing like a little cute spooky town or something like that. <laughs> he's so cute. He just got groomed today. So he smells really good. Which always good. Um, okay. Let me go grab my purse and wallet. Be right back. We are back. Okay so... The purse is from my sister. Isn't it it's so cute? It's from the same company that does like the lounge fly backpacks. Um, so if you can't tell, I don't, the glare is kind of bad. The bag is um, black. And then up here, you got purple and black, which purple is one of my favorite colors. So is black. And then you got a long strap you put on. And then it's got Jack Skellington, who you can like, it's kind of like mirrored you can see through it um so cute I need I wanted another bag so worked out and then my mom got me a matching wallet um or you could use it as a clutch which is also useful because sometimes I don't always feel like going out with a purse 
but here's like the wristlet and then the wallet has got Jack with like the town behind him and all the spooky characters and I think it's so cute they did a good job they went in together on it so I thought that was really cute I'm like looking in there like what the hell's in there anyway from my family I think oh one more my sister got me this um once again they know I love Nightmare Before Christmas so um, my husband had been complaining about not having enough room because on our like near our front door of our apartment we have um, two coffins that hold our keys they're like little key rack holder things sorry I gotta fix my hair again it's like in my face um, he wanted two more and I kept telling him oh I'll just order them from Amazon oh I'll just order them from Amazon I never did it um, <laughs> I think I got them from Etsy though so my sister the precious person that she is this one holds five. It's a five key ring holder thing, which we want to use part of ours for like a pose leash because we don't have enough room currently. She got this, I think it's called CNC, where they cut it out. I feel like I'm ruining it. It is a little key holder, which we just have to put in the little um, holder things on here that we have with it. Um, and it says simply meant to be right here so cute it's got um obviously jack and sally it's got oogie boogie it's got bats flying all over the front and then um zero i'm trying to maybe if i hold it over here you can see better but super cute good idea something different and of course it's black so you can't go wrong which really excited for it um I'll tell you why in a second. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to do my thumbnail something else because everybody is gonna see my thumbnail, the video, the picture I wanted to do, and they're gonna know exactly what the update is. <laughs> but okay. Oh, I forgot. I kind of bought this for myself for Christmas, so we'll put it over here. Um, and then the last thing from my family. This is from my brother and his wife. Um, my husband and I got married this year back in, well, this year is 2023, last year in 2022. So um, my new last name will be Pooley. So um, right now it's currently Longstreet. Well, yeah, I haven't legally changed it. Um, so I thought this gift was so special very good quality <clears throat> sorry very good quality so special um it is a wooden sign that is in cursive and it says the poolies and then down at the bottom it says established in 2022 the year we got married so sweet literally like the quality of this is so amazing and she got it in the darkest wood that she could because she knows how we are <laughs> I thought that was so nice. Now my husband. So my husband, if you, I have an Instagram. If you guys follow me, um, one of the things my husband got for me, which came the day after Christmas, he got my car fully detailed for me. Um, I drive a 2019 Dodge Challenger in like that army green color. Um, so if anything, I can like insert a picture here of my car and it looks so amazing if not you can follow me on instagram my handle is also the spooky nurse um i posted it there too oh, wait no i think i did a story so yeah i'll post the picture here but oh, amazing i've been wanting that for a long time a couple of things of course we got each other stocking stuffers um we just got each other a bunch of candy and stuff like that but one of the things I really wanted was for new keycaps for my keyboard, for my computer. And um, I really love Animal Crossing, like, a lot. <laughs> and I'm going to try to show these without them flipping over everywhere. He got me new keycaps that are Animal Crossing. <laughs> I'll bring it up closer. But look. The, the space bar at the bottom's got the little island that you're flying to. The ship's got the fishing pole. Oh, look at the butterfly net. The campsite. Oh, 
so amazing and it's in that blue and green color like from Animal Crossing oh and it's from the new one New Horizons is what it's called I think yeah um, or I have more options to go with because it kind of came with a bigger set. And two, my keyboard isn't the full 100%. Mine's 65, I think. 60 or 65. So I can't use all of the keys, but if anything, I can just go back and forth with what I want to use. Um, two, the writing on them is a little different if you can't tell the font. <laughs> um, up top's like a fish, a butterfly, the um, sticks. Uh, like if, if it's an item money so cool literally I'm so excited see that's another reason he's been wanting me to um what's it call it film this video because he's like well you haven't put any of your keycaps on and I was like I know but I want to use it for my video first <laughs> So he's actually getting a tattoo done tonight. So I figured tonight would be the perfect night to film while he's not here. I don't know. It's kind of weird filming in front of your significant other, but um, you better get ready because it's about it's about to get real with this next uh, stuff coming up for content. <laughs> Let me try to put this back in. So good. Okay. What's left? The biggest gift from him, besides getting my car detailed, because I know that one's expensive, but this will be the last time I am filming on my iPhone. So excited. Um, He got me a GoPro for Christmas. I haven't even used it yet. Um, We were playing around with it, but of course, like, I'm scared. <laughs> it is so cute. So I told him, I was like, you know, with me starting YouTube, like I wanted something better to film with, but you know, like don't spend too much money on something. Like I want to see where YouTube's going to take me and I don't want anything super fancy quite yet until I get better with you, YouTube and uh, editing and all that stuff. So he got me a little GoPro. It is the um, GoPro 9 Black, and isn't she amazing? I was playing with it, and so now when I film, of course, the quality is going to be better. But um, when you, like, hold it up to, like, film yourself, like how in my last vlog I was, like, driving or... Um, my cat's playing with a box. I was driving or um, filming outside while walking my dog. This is like got the auto movement type of thing. So where everything's going to be smooth and it won't be shaky. I'm literally so excited for that. It's going to look so good. So starting from after this video here on out, everything's going to look so much better. <laughs> and of course, to go with this, he got me a... Um, I do a lot of filming in my car because I work Monday through Friday. <laughs> he got me a mount to go with it for my car. So you just like suction cup it to the top and it can film, which I'm super excited about. So now our car chats will be so much fun. <laughs> um, that was part of it. In my stocking, he put a USB for me for it and then an SD card as well so I can film right away. So excited. This is to charge it. Um and then this was to myself. As soon as I found out I got the GoPro, he got me the suction cup like I said for my um car, but I don't have a stand for it, so obviously I had to buy stuff for my GoPro and there was a set on Amazon for like 20 bucks I think, not even. Um, you're not really going to be able to tell in the video what everything is, but it is a case full of stuff. Um, I have like, I don't have, I don't even have a bike, but it's got one for a bike on here. So whenever I decide to get a bike in my life. 
Um, it's got like the selfie stick type of thing. So I'm all set to go for any type. There's one that you can wear on your head, one you can wear on your chest. I'm ready. <laughs> I told him, I was like, damn, I wish we would have had this in Peru. That would have been sick. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was what I got for Christmas. So amazing. Thank you to my husband, DJ, and my family for everything you guys got me. Like, um, and his family, of course. Well, they're my family now. <laughs> We're married. But, like, everything was seriously so amazing. And I can't thank them enough. And I hope everybody on YouTube had a Merry Christmas as well. Um, kind of going into the second part of this video was the updates. YouTube crazy stuff has happened. So like I said, today is January 7th. It's Saturday. Um, <laughs> we made the split decision last weekend to buy a house. <laughs> so uh, my husband and I are officially homeowners. We signed the contract for the house on Tuesday. No, Wednesday, Tuesday. One of the days. <laughs> um, we literally were thinking about, it's like, I don't even want to say we were thinking about buying a house. It kind of just happened. Um, my husband had been looking on Zillow for houses um, just to see like what's out there. Um, we were thinking about maybe moving out of state, but you know, with, we really didn't want to do that because like, you know, all of our friends are here and family. So, um, didn't seem like the best option, but it was definitely an option. But the prices here in the area that um, we're local to in Central Florida, um, super expensive, ridiculous prices to buy a home. Um, my husband sold his car. I think I told you guys that in a previous video. So um, we had money for a down payment on a house already kind of in savings. And he works from home, so we just share my car. Um, <laughs> Uh, and then Sunday we went our friends live in the neighborhood that we just bought in so you're gonna be seeing them in my YouTube actually Rachel Jeremy love you both so much so excited um, <laughs> they're gonna help us um, at least move from our current apartment but we went over to their place Sunday and we went and toured with the guy and yeah he was just like oh you guys looking and we were like yeah and he showed us the lot that is literally on the same street as Rachel and Jeremy and we were like I think we're gonna go home and look at finances and get back to you and we did and things worked out and uh, we signed a contract literally like I can't even tell you how fast of a process this has been it's been like scary fast to the point I haven't slept much. Um, we've been dealing with house stuff every single night. I think I've been going to bed at like one in the morning every night. <laughs> um, I almost overslept really bad on Friday to go to work, but I made it on time. It's just been so exhausting. We're super excited. We're still gonna be local to the Central Florida area. I think for me, for work, it's only tacked on an extra 10 to 15 minutes, so nothing bad. Um, yeah, that's like our big update. Like, I just can't believe how fast everything's been happening and how amazing this process has been so far. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, I guess I'll tell you a little bit about the house. It's a three bedroom, two bath, currently still being built. Um, it'll actually be done, they estimate end of November, or not end of November, Jesus, end of February is when we're supposed to close on the house. Um, so it's coming up so fast. Like I said, it's January 7th. Um, one of the big issues that we had was a lease. We re-signed our lease at our apartment till December of 2023. And we told them like, hey, we would love to buy a house here. But we don't have the money to break our lease. Um, I think to break our lease, it was like almost $4,000. It's like 3,600, I think, cause you have to pay like two months of rent and we pay like 1,800 something for rent. Um, you know, we had enough for the down payment on the house, but like we don't have enough to also break the lease. Um, 
it's ridiculous. <laughs> so um, they work with the company Remax. The company that we bought from works with Remax. And the guy's like, oh, my wife actually works there. Um, if you guys use her, she will be able to break the lease for you. So she's breaking our lease for us. And of course she gets the full commission on our house, which go ahead, sister, you're helping me break my lease and get out of my apartment. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So everything is like all set. We did our vacate to notice of our apartment. Um, there's just kind of one thing before we sign that vacate notice that we wanted to clarify with the apartment. But other than that, we are good to go. Um, during closing with our house, she gives us the check, um, the real estate agent, sorry, my cat, um, gives us a check that we can give the apartment complex to break our lease. So that's what we're gonna do. But our official move out date from the apartment, like God forbid, our closing date gets pushed back, which it easily might, like that's a thing. Um, our move out date regardless is February 28th, so we don't get stuck paying for another month's rent of March. Um, but our friends, Rachel and Jeremy, so sweet, so we could come stay with them until our house is completely done. Um, so February 28th, we're moving out. It's happening. <laughs> uh, and literally, so we have like a month and a half to get everything packed up, get the apartment cleaned up, and we're out of here. <laughs> um, yeah, super exciting. And then two, another update. Um, my last week of work is coming up with my current job with my doctor um, at the heart place that I work at, the heart clinic. Um, I'm super sad, but super excited. I've actually had this new job since October 31st, Halloween, <laughs> of course. Um, my title has been changed since October 31st, but um, they wanted me to stay there and train a new person and she's finally here. Um, so I've been training her and my last week is next week. So my last day is January the 13th and I start with my new job on January 16th. I'm so excited. I thought the day would never come. Um, I don't know if I've talked about it. I think I mentioned it in my last video, but my t new title, um, is called a CRC, a clinical research coordinator, but I just call myself a research nurse now. It's still with the heart building that I'm with, the heart com corp, not corporation, but still within the same company, still in the same building, actually still on the same floor, just down the hall. Um, yeah, it's gonna be amazing. Like, uh, it's just so many new things happening. Like, so I have my new job starting. I bought a house. Um, we have to move. <laughs> Everything's super overwhelming, but I'm super excited for all of this to happen and can't wait. So that brings me to the next videos coming up. I am going to take my new GoPro and take you all along with this house journey moving in. Um, all of that literally uh i've never done uh, or bought a house before i'm 28 so it's happening i'm still like kind of in shock that i'm a homeowner <laughs> it is scary but exciting at the same time but we're gonna kill it we're gonna rock it um so expect a lot of house content to be happening i want to show you guys the move-in process um i want to take you along with everything and i hope that i can answer any questions um as you can tell from the picture earlier that i put up here um the house is like a normal looking house from the outside and i don't think we can modify the outside because of the um area that we're in you know you have like an hoa and stuff which that's fine but as soon as you walk in our house is gonna be, you know, goth and alternative. And that's kind of funny because like you look from the outside and it's normal and then it won't be when you walk in. But super excited for everything. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, for tuning in. Like I said, like and subscribe. Um, let me know too. I've been trying to film content based on like you know, things that I also want to film, but I'm also keeping you guys, um, 
noted in my mind, some of you have made requests for videos from me. Um, I've definitely been thinking about that. Someone asked me to do a pros and cons of my job. Um, I'm actually about to leave that job, but I will be making an updated video eventually. Like I said, a lot of the stuff coming up is going to be a lot of house content. Um, but <laughs> I will make a new video about my job. If anything in that video too, I can talk about my old job, the pros and cons of it. But let me know what you guys like to see too. I mean, or if you have any questions about the house, the process, and I'll try to answer what I can. Um, I only know so much. I'm going through it new too. Um, but like I said, like the video if you liked it. Um, subscribe to see more content coming up. And I will see you guys in the next one.